Today we will see a few examples of commutative property of addition and multiplication of whole numbers. Rajesh keeps three apples in a basket and after some time he keeps two oranges in the same basket. If Rajesh keeps two oranges in the basket first and three apples later, does that change the total number of fruits? Can we apply commutative property here? Case 1. Keeping three apples first and then two oranges in the basket. Total number of fruits equal to number of apples plus number of oranges, which is 3 plus 2, that is 5. Case 2. Keeping two oranges first and later three apples in the basket. Total number of fruits equal to number of oranges plus number of apples, which is 2 plus 3, that is 5. In both cases, there will be 5 fruits in the basket, which states that 3 plus 2 equal to 2 plus 3. Or, in other words, number of apples plus number of oranges equal to number of oranges plus number of apples. This example shows the commutative property of addition of whole numbers. Next example. There are two cupboards. There are five rows in first cupboard and in each row only three cups can be arranged. In the second cupboard, there are three rows and in each row only five cups can be arranged. Can you tell which cupboard will have the maximum number of cups? In the first cupboard, there are five rows and in each row only three cups can be arranged. So here, you can arrange a total of five into three cups. Now, think about the second cupboard. Here the arrangement is a bit different. Here, there are three rows in which five cups can be arranged in each row. So, a total of three into five cups can be arranged in the second cupboard. Since multiplication of whole numbers is commutative, either we do three into five or five into three. The answer will be 15. This shows that 15 cups can be arranged in both the cupboards. Next example. Fill in the blanks. Since addition of whole numbers is commutative, we will write 2 in the blank. Since multiplication of whole numbers is also commutative, we will write 7 in the blank. Today we saw a few examples based on commutative property of addition and multiplication of whole numbers. In the next video, we will see few misconceptions related to this property.